Tracking a winter storm tonight that will bring impacts to parts of the state into tomorrow morning. As you'll see, winter storm warnings in effect all the way from Wisconsin back through Colorado as our low pressure system is going to track right across the state. And on the northern side of that is where we're going to see road problems into much of tonight and tomorrow. Likely going to see slick spots starting early tomorrow morning before sunrise across parts of our area. Here's what our future track looks like tonight at midnight. Rain for areas south of Highway 24 where temperatures will be in the 40s. And as you'll see here in pink, from Paris to Marshall and points north of there. Freezing rain possible, creating a glaze of ice on the roads before snow starts to move in in the morning. Likely not going to see too much in the way of snowfall amounts across a lot of in Missouri, but we could see a dusting to an inch in areas north of I-70. It's going to be somewhat slushier the farther south you go. And then from Fulton to Jefferson City to the Lake of the Ozarks, maybe a couple of flurries during the afternoon, but no road impacts expected. It is going to be a cold afternoon. Temperatures only make it to the mid-30s. And then overnight into Friday, we'll see lows dropping down into the teens to around 20 degrees. So we could have a couple slick spots, especially in areas that are not treated for points north of Moberly into early Friday morning. Here's the snow tracker overnight into tomorrow. So as mentioned, not a lot of snow with the system for us around a dusting to an inch here in white and then points north. We'll see more than that upwards of four to six inches across northern sections of the state. Ice amounts, not a whole lot, but enough to make things slick overnight. This is what the road conditions will look like after midnight in red and pink, indicating icy conditions on the roads from Paris to Brunswick and up towards Macon and green. That's just indicating some rain, wet roads expected through much of Thursday morning. Again, still focusing on areas north of I-70 for the morning commute for icy conditions or at least slick roads with that freezing rain that melt or freezes on contact. But as we get into the afternoon, things will start to improve as road temperatures warm above freezing green across a lot of the area indicating just wet roads. As we get towards the end of the week, it's going to be chilly on Friday with more sunshine. We are still in the 40s, but the weekend certainly looking nice. I'll be tracking a disturbance that moves through on Saturday night. That could bring a few more clouds, but we're looking warmer with more sunshine on Sunday with a high near 60 degrees. Here's my seven day forecast. Definitely going to be chilly to end the week as that precipitation moves out tomorrow. We are left with a low near 20 tomorrow night, so it's cold to start off Friday, but a quieter end to the weekend. Beautiful weather over the weekend with highs in the 50s and 60s. Next week starts off mild, but we'll cool down a little bit Tuesday and Wednesday with some rain in the forecast.